guys, happy new year! I know it is not new year for me, but the day you're watching this is going to be new year. So happy new year! Hi guys, happy new year, happy new year, happy new year. So anyway, I'm going to start a new series this month. So I'm going to post every alternate days. I thought I'll do a new year series like the entire month, but I was very scared. I didn't want to commit and not do it because 30 YouTube videos is a very difficult task and I'm one man here, one woman, everything, production, everything. I don't have any help. So I'm like, let's take it a little slow. So you're going to see me post a video every alternate day so it's like today's first then third fifth etc so i hope you're excited for uh, the youtube series and today we have a uh, best and worst of makeup in 2020 i posted a uh, best and worst of skincare my previous video you can check it out if you haven't already and this one is for um, makeup and by the way hi welcome to my channel hi i'm kangsha if you're new to this channel then make sure like share and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell again these are not necessarily new launches like makeup which launched in 2020 but just the products have been reaching out to a lot so basically it is called my favorites of 2020 and my dislikes of 2020 but you know titles just like youtube youtube just does what it wants so that's the reason i'm calling it like best and worst but i love my makeup and i'm very picky so let's see what i like and i don't like let's get started If you want to shop any of these products then you can use the links in the description i get a little bit of commission out of it if you want to shop it then do these are links from nika if you like nika do shop with these links or else you can shop it from anywhere else so let's start off from high-end to drugstore and for high-end the first product i have is the iconic london eyeshadow palette which i've been reaching out so 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 many times i'll put it on the um you know screen i've spoken about this in uh, the like you know my product recommendation video which i did recently as well it is one of the beautiful neutral palettes i've ever tried it is so good for everyday wear if you're somebody who's not into makeup a lot and just does makeup you know like when they want to or just wants to feel good and go with very basic look etc then this nude palette is really good you have pinks mauves browns everything in it and it looks really nice blends really beautifully so the next one is a mascara and i've tried that recently is the huda beauty legit lashes it is a legit mascara you guys it is very good if you have the money to invest in it then definitely do but or else the l'oreal lash paradise does the job as well uh, this does it's like you know i'll do a comparison video or sometime soon but if you have the money for it then definitely you can invest in a huda beauty legit lash because it's a very good mascara uh, but one thing is if you cry it's not going to stay in place it's going to kind of get dispersed but l'oreal lash paradise doesn't do that so uh but then it gives such full volume on its lashes you can see i have it on my eyes right now and it looks very beautiful then the next one is the benefit boy boing cakeless concealer really good concealer very like you can kind of build it up it's a medium to full coverage so you can add very little bit and get little very less product and sheer coverage if you, you can add a lot of it and get full full coverage but it does the job really well covers everything doesn't crease doesn't move like once you set it of course you have to set it with a powder but after that gives a very soft finish under the eye under my eye i have that right now on, under my eye and it looks phenomenal then the next one is highlighter i have two highlighters one is the balm cosmetics marry you illuminizer absolute favorite i don't even know what to say about that highlighter i, I can't even imagine my you know makeup game without the highlighter these days it is so good one of the most like finely milled very shimmery type of highlighter it is not chunky whatsoever i have it on my face right now very very beautiful i love the color the second one is becca champagne pop again one very beautiful highlighter so both of them can be very blinding or you can use it very softly and make it like look like a touch of a glow two beautiful very worth it like you know they are worth your money and you can invest in those now next let's move on to drugstore and there are a lot of products from drugstore that i really really like the first one is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation i have to mention this foundation is very beautiful i ran out of it but i'm not buying it because i know if i buy that then i'll stop using everything else and i have a lot of things piling up and i want to finish one and then buy the other so that i don't have like a lot of you know products lying down and getting wasted so l'oreal infallible really 
really good foundation something i fell in love this year actually amazing formula very skin like finish very beautiful finish i love how it feels on my skin it's not heavy it's not cakey uh, you can build it up into medium coverage and full coverage also but it's really beautiful when you apply in one two layers and like you know gives a very natural finish and then the next one is actually lashes uh, there's this brand called glomia beauty i've bought a couple of lashes from them recently and the previously when i bought the lashes i was not so impressed but the styles which i bought recently are really nice so one is expensive shameless etc so all these ones have very thin lash band that means they it's really easy to sit on the eye and they don't look very heavy i hate lashes which are so so heavy and so so thick like if you look down they like you have that very black thing on the I don't know. It's just not my vibe. So one of the uh, lashes I tried from them, Soho is like that. So that's the reason I was not impressed. But then later I tried the other styles, and they're really beautiful and they go on really well. Of course, pack lashes are always there, but these are ones I really like as well. Then uh, one more thing is Rhythm Cosmetics. These are some things I really like recently only tried, and I absolutely love them. So uh, they are uh, the pigment pots. So you can use it like an eye shadow also. You can wet it and use it like a normal liner also. And I really like it as a liner. So in a Yeah, we don't have a really good colorful liner, so they are just one fifty, and they do such a good uh, job. I am really impressed, like the level of Suva Beauty impressed. So Suva Beauty has really good Hydra liners like, that everybody knows, but Rhythm Cosmetics also so, so sasta but really nice. So next one is blushes, and I have three blushes which I really like uh, this year and been reaching out a lot. One is my Makeup Revolution Reloaded Blusher, my standard which I always like. The second one is the K Beauty blushes which I've been reaching like recently tried and really like it. I have the shade. sugar candy on my cheeks right now one of the beautiful matte blushes and i've been enjoying them a lot and the third one is the sugar blush sugar also has this really beautiful blushes really good matte blushes so these are my three recommendation and these are the three blushes i would like reach out a lot for then quickly let's talk about sponges because sponges are such a like necessary in everyday routine so the entire year year i've just been using two brands like one is plumco which i really really like and uh, what the other one is vaishi which i actually started off with is one of the beautiful full sponges there's a lot of difference between these uh, two sponges though wise she sponge absorbs a lot of product but that means like if you're beginner and you're applying a lot of product it won't make you look cakey and kind of blends it away uh the say but the plumco one does not absorb so much product but gives like a very full coverage finish next for eyeliners there are two eyeliners that i really really like one is the eba cosmetics eyeliner the tip of it is like it's not a felt tip liner it's like normal liquid liner but it is so so uh, thin i mean very thin enough and Very sturdy, steady enough so that even I can do a foxy eye with like a liquid liner, and that's very difficult for me because I usually just use a felt tip liner. But with that one, it 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 is very easy and it doesn't budge also. And I really like how you know that. Uh, Uh, liner works and I would highly recommend it. The second one is the Lakme Iconic. I was so surprised when I tried out that liner. It is really, really good. It's proof and long lasting. It is basically waterproof and it does not bleed. A way to test your eyeliner if it does not bleed is just you can scrub, like you know, do a line. And if it's bleeding into your skin, that means the eyeliner is going to bleed. And if you put it on, on your eye, there's a tendency it might go in like you know everywhere. But if you know it just stays in place, stays matte, doesn't move, then it's like going to be. And this one did not bleed. even little bit it just stayed on very matte very nice and budge proof really like this liner like me has a big hit for them this year uh, there's actually one more blush i forgot to mention it's a cream blush so this is the ruby organics uh, cream blush they are so good the highlighter and their blush is really very beautiful if you're somebody who likes to just add like a you know bb cream or tinted moisturizer add likes to add like a little bit of skin tint basically like a cream blush or anything like that and just Have like that very dewy skin-like finish. You would definitely like this. Even on full coverage makeup, it looks really nice. The way they blend into the skin and make everything look very cohesive is actually really nice. Then the concealer I really like from the drugstore this year is the Flower Beauty concealer. I've been using it a lot. It is a little matte, so if you have dry under eyes, do avoid it. For but for my under eyes, it works really well. It is uh, you know medium to full coverage, does not budge, does not crease. Once you set it in place, and, and I really like it too. Coming to lipsticks, so there are three lipsticks. I have. A whole lipstick video is dedicated to lipsticks under rupees five hundred. I'll link it here. You can definitely check that one out. I talk about more than twenty to twenty five brands and different lipsticks. I think in that. Uh, but this one are the lipsticks which are not mentioned there because they are little over five hundred, but they are from drugstore. So the first one is Lakme Absolute Matte Lipstick. 
beautiful formula very very pigmented lipsticks and they look really good i have a whole swatch video of the lipsticks on my igtv if you want to check it out and they are beautiful very creamy very matte very pigmented stay for a really long time of course they're a lipstick so they're not like budge proof but they are kind of long lasting few lipsticks even stay so they kind of you know look like a very long lasting lipstick then the second one is the k beauty matte lipsticks which launched recently and they have beautiful colors the tones of the lipsticks are really nice one of my favorite shades are snapshot suspense uh, uh, thriller these are beautiful shades now i'm not going to talk a lot about shades in this video because if i talk about my favorite lipstick shades it's going to be like a one hour long video so i'll do a you know separate uh, video for shades of the lipstick but these are lipstick formulas i really really like and the last lipsticks i really like are the revolution pro new blushed lipsticks again a very beautiful formula so three of these lipsticks have kind of the same uh, finish they are lipsticks they are matte they are very comfortable to wear they have a lot of shade options available they are very pigmented and very creamy then this year i shadow goes to like i'm saying this year but like i did anything last year but this year i shadow affordable that i have to give it for nikha ke i shadow palette is really good Three palettes for nine 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 is a very good deal. They blend beautifully. One color or one out of like ten colors won't work, but the majority of the ones really work. Even the other one, if you kind of blend it a little more, it really works. It's really good, affordable eyeshadow palette. This time goes to Nikka K. All right, so moving on to the worst or like products I don't really like. Now there are le very less products in this category because I make a lot of things work. If I have the product, I don't like to waste it, so I'm going to make it use some or the other. But the product. in this category if they are there then that means i've tried to make them work but there is no way i can make them work and they didn't really you know impress me they didn't really, i don't really like them i don't really reach out to them a lot so those are the products which are in the list so the first one is the sugar powder sugar has such beautiful products but this powder is a nightmare so this is their translucent powder these they had this powder way before they released any of their colored powders so this one is bad the translucent one is so bad it is so dusty so so dusty like once you take and you apply it it's just like goes everywhere it is very dusty you have to cough and sneeze for 100 years uh, but i don't really like it and the second one is it's so white and etc so that kind of leaves a very gray cast and three is it has horrible flashback horrible flashback and i don't like it So the next product I don't really like is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. Now I know a lot of people like this foundation, but I don't. I don't like this foundation at all. I've tried to make it work so many times, but every time there is little bit of dry patch, a little bit of skin issue anywhere. It breaks apart. It looks very heavy. It is very very cakey. It did not work for me. I've tried to use sheet masks before it, etc. And for time being, it looks good, but throughout the day again, it is like. No, nah, I don't like it. Did not work for me. I have not tried the newer version of the same foundation, but this is the older version which I don't really like. The newer version I'm yet to try. Maybe they change the formula and it is going to be good. We never know. Then the third one is lipsticks, which I didn't really like. Actually, had a lot of irritation on my uh, lips because of it. It's the Swiss Beauty Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Like the minute I apply them, my lips start to tingle. Like you know, sting a lot and tingle and give like very weird sensation. And the next day I wake up. With very weird, like patchy, dry, dry lips, and they didn't like work for me at all. Then this one, this is the worst product I've ever tried. This is the Nykaa Skin Genius BB Cream. I don't know why it is there. Like why? I mean, there is literally nothing. You apply it on your hand, and it just disappears. And so they, I think, claimed it to be something which changes into your skin color, but it does nothing. It does nothing on the skin. It doesn't do any good. It doesn't do anything. It's SPF 30, so it looks a very more weird because of the texture of the product. Doesn't give good finish. Doesn't do anything, and I don't like it at all. And the next one is the sugar jelly highlighters. So sugar had sent me their jelly highlighters like I think a few months, like initially when they launched, and I've tried them and I didn't like them at all. Uh, I mean, I've tried Ruby Organics highlight. I don't like compared to that this one is so bad it goes on very balled up very patchy a little glittery a little weird it doesn't look like you know luminous like how a cream blush is make you know supposed to make your skin look very luminous glow from within type of thing this just like sits and dries down and you know in a weird part and it doesn't look good on the skin at all last two products and both the products are from makeup revolution so both of them are eye shadow palettes so one is this one i just have it here so i'm opening it this is the ultra eye shadows look 
This is the worst type of eyeshadow palette. Not because it broke; it kind of broke recently. Uh, it 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 just has a lot of just shimmery, uh, pop, like you know, shadows. They're not really good matte. It's a very it it is a like not a cheap palette. I, I'm sure it's more than fifteen uh, hundred or something. But it didn't really work. This is the Ice Like Angels pop, uh, palette and. It is meh, and the same thing with this palette also. This is the on the dance uh, uh, floor sparkles. So this is uh, see, it has beautiful colors. Like if you want to make them work, you can. Uh, but it's just that there are very few mattes. There are like four mattes and a lot of shimmer shades. So you know, I don't really want to apply like you know this blue on my crease, uh, which is very shimmery. I want a matte blue shade to apply and make a colorful look rather than like a shimmery uh, one. So you know, this palette also again, these are not cheap palettes. They're eighty. 1700 1700 etc so i don't think they're worth it like the nikha k ones are lot better and beautiful makeup revolution has the reloaded uh, palettes which are very good the reloaded uh, All the editions of the reloaded, reloaded ones are really good. So you can, you know, rather invest in that. You will get two palettes for the price of one. So that's a lot better. So yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope this was useful. I hope this helps you in, like, you know, decidement of. I, you know, friend and I have this thing. Uh, we say decidement, like uh, decidement time. Like I don't know, it's very good. So, anyways, my bad. I hope it helped you decide whether you not like, you know, want to buy a product. If you're looking for something, which you know, if if you're look, if you were thinking about buying something, I mentioned in this video. I hope this was useful in that way. But anyway, happy new year once again. I hope you have an amazing year. I hope you do whatever you want to do this year and stay happy. And that's it for this video. And I'll see you guys in my. My next one please make sure you hit the notification bell and hit subscribe because i am going to be here every alternate day i'm really excited for this series so yeah that's it and i'll see you guys in my next video